Welcome back to the Branding and AI Odyssey. Today is going to be really interesting because I am about to take you behind the scenes and in real time, I mean, we'll edit out the slow parts, but in real time, I'm going to create a piece of on-brand content with you looking over my shoulder so you can see exactly how I'm doing this so you can implement this in your brand as well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kay Putnam. I'm the psychology driven brand strategist. I have been a brand strategist for over a decade and have worked with thousands of students, hundreds of one-on-one -on -one clients, and I am learning and embracing AI right alongside all of you. And I want to share everything that I'm learning, incorporating my expertise as a brand strategist to get superior outputs using chat GPT or whatever other AI tool that you choose to use. Let's dive in and have some fun. <laughs> I am using the paid version of chat GPT because I wanted to have access to the latest algorithm that they are using. I also am leveraging other assets that I've developed in advance. So if you don't have these assets, they are actually the place to start. You want to be able to input a description of your brand voice to be able to tell the AI what your brand strategy is so that it can incorporate whatever content that it's creating for you through the lens of your brand. So I'm gonna be using those, I'll describe them as I get to them, but the tool that I'm using is ChatGPT. The current algorithm that is currently out is ChatGPT4, and you could be using the free version, but you're just gonna get a variety in quality. And of course, this technology is evolving at an incredibly rapid pace, so maybe this video will be outdated here in just a couple weeks. Let's, let's just dive in. Okay, so I have ChatGPT open, blank screen. What am I trying to do? And that is the, the first step. I need to decide what I want this tool to help me create. Now I'm getting ready to launch this exciting new experience. It's a cohort based offer where I'm walking people through the process of building their brand strategy, AKA the thing that I'm going to be using today to create on brand content. So I wanna be talking about AI. I wanna be talking about this topic in particular, but I wanna do it in a way that's on brand for me. It needs to be in alignment with my humanness and with my brand's unique perspective, point of view and personality. Okay, so that's the gist. I wanna create content that talks about AI and branding. I also have a sense of what my overall marketing strategy is. So I know that I wanna create content for Instagram in this case. That is our starting place. We have context. We know that we are going to be creating content in support of this upcoming launch and it's going to be on Instagram. And another tool that I love to use is I have these, what I call visibility cards. They're post prompts that I've collected over the years. I designed and printed my own deck of these prompts. And if ever I'm looking at a blank screen like this, this can be really helpful. So let me just dive through a couple of these and see if anything catches my eye. So the card that I pulled out was how can I relate with my ideal client's fears? Interesting. Okay, let's start there. We're gonna start just in ChatGPT here, and I always like to break up the content production process into its various stages, as opposed to just having it spit out a article or Instagram caption, whatever it is from scratch, because that means I have more control over it. And one of the most powerful things that AI can do is help us ideate. It helps us create a bunch of ideas so that we as the human can apply our own expertise and opinion, we can decide what is going to make the most sense. But we can just talk to ChatGPT like we're chatting with it. So I want to write an Instagram post, caption, we'll say, that empathizes, if I could spell, that would be useful too, empathizes with entrepreneurs' fears about using AI for their brand. Please brainstorm a list of possible titles. And then the tool gets to work. So embracing AI, navigating the unknown for tomorrow's success. AI in business, turning fear into fuel for growth. Riding the AI wave, 
overcoming entrepreneurial fears. AI and entrepreneurs conquering uncertainty together, the AI evolution, empowering brands, alleviating fears from fear to fearless, how AI can transform your brand. AI empowered entrepreneurs building bravery for the future, embracing the AI revolution, facing entrepreneurial fears head on, AI anxiety, how to conquer your fears and boost your brand. The future is AI transforming entrepreneurial fear into opportunity. All of these are really decent. Um, and because it's knowing that I'm using this on Instagram, it actually did put in some emojis right in here to catch people's attention. So it has some of that built-in knowledge without us even telling it to do that. If that's on brand for you, you could keep the emojis. If not, then you might choose to take them out. Let's see. Oh gosh, it's really hard to choose. I kind of like the cheekiness of AI empowered entrepreneurs building bravery for the future. So I'm gonna copy that. And the other thing that we need to bring to the AI as the human is to have a perspective on the topic. Again, if we're just asking the AI to generate content on our behalf, it's only going to create like this kind of like average point of view, this averagely interesting perspective. We could actually have it brainstorm perspectives for us and then see which one we actually agree with, but I have a pretty strong opinion already. The thing that I think is that AI is a tool like any other tool that we use, we are only going to get as good output from it as the input that we put in. So we still have to work alongside it. It's to augment our humanness, not a replacement for it. So that's going to be the main point that I'm going to focus on here in this post. But just out of curiosity, and because we're doing this together, let's see what ideas it comes up with. So what unique perspectives could I communicate about? And I'm gonna paste that title. So I could talk about the importance of a growth mindset. We could talk about collaboration instead of competition. This is kind of my perspective. Emphasize that AI as a, is a partner to entrepreneurs, enhancing human creativity rather than a competitor that threatens to replace them. We can personalize our marketing using AI. There's efficiency and cost savings for sure. Innovation, we can stay ahead of market trends, adapt to changing consumer behaviors. I also love this one that I've already talked about in my previous video on AI and branding. It's the democratization of resources. So it's making advanced tools and analytics more accessible to small businesses, which is leveling the playing field and allowing us to compete with bigger competitors. Let's see, upskilling, reskilling, we can use it as an opportunity to add new skills to our tool belt. And then just the importance of embracing the future. So these are all really interesting ideas. We could actually generate 10 different posts that speaks to each of these things. But again, we're using ourselves and our own perspective as the decision-making filter. And I'm going to focus on this collaboration, not competition angle for this post. Okay, let's first start with an outline. Again, my brain works in steps and I find the AI works really well in, in this same format. So now that we have our title and we have our idea of what our unique perspective, our opinion is going to be that we're gonna communicate, next we wanna think about the outline. So we can ask it to write an outline for a post about this title about how AI is simply a tool to augment human genius, not something to be feared or avoided. Oh, okay, I did a typo. So instead of saying write an outline, I just said write an out. <laughs> so it started writing a conclusion for me. And we can always go back and edit what we're doing and resubmit it to get what we're actually looking for. Okay, introduction, addressing the common fears surrounding AI, introducing the concept of AI as a tool, embracing AI, blah, 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 embracing creativity, improving decision-making, collaboration, human intuition with AI-powered insights. Oh, I love that. Developing a symbiotic relationship. Okay, I'm actually gonna have it stop generating here because I think that I have what I need in this middle part here. I don't, like, we don't need this introduction. AI is kind of famous for 
having a very particular writing style where it like tells you what it's going to say, then it says the thing, and then it finishes what it's going to say, which is fantastic if you're in the military or writing an academic paper, not so much if you're writing marketing focused, sales focused copywriting. So we really just want to kind of dive right in to the meat of it. So that's actually going to be my outline. Okay, here is now where we add our brand in. In addition to shaping the actual content, I wanna make sure that the post is communicated in my brand voice and according to my brand strategy. So here is how we do it. The way that I structure the prompt is I tell the AI first what I want it to create, and then I paste a bunch of context below. Here is how it works. Okay, so write an Instagram caption. I am doing this a little bit out of order, so I'm pasting this outline because I need to go back up and paste or copy the title that we already liked. Title this, and then I'm telling it that this is the general outline and then we get fun okay I may end up getting an error because I might try to paste more context in here than what it can actually process so I'm over in my notes and in a previous chat GPT session I posted a few different examples of my actual human writing and then I used the prompt something to this effect write in great detail the tone of voice word choice, style, and structure of this writing. Ignore the actual content of the writing and focus only on the voice and tone and things that make this unique so that I can use it in future prompts. And this is the output that it gave me. And I went through it, I edited some of the pieces that I didn't agree with. It did like reference specific offer names from the original piece of writing. So I took those out so that I have this kind of agnostic, highly detailed description of how I write, how my brand writes. So I'm just gonna put it in here, brand voice, and then I'm gonna put that description, pasting that over here in chat GPT. And then I'm just gonna add in some notes from my brand strategy source book. So I, in the already, as a visionary, as the CEO of my brand, I have decided what my brand stands for. I've decided exactly what my key messages are, what my standards are, and I have them all documented in this asset called a brand source book. I, in that experience that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be teaching a cohort of entrepreneurs exactly how to generate this source book for yourself and we're actually going to use AI as a tool to help us do that in an even faster more efficient way which is going to be incredibly exciting but this is a framework that I've developed over the last decade in business so it's an incredible asset for your business whether you're working with AI or with more traditional copywriters or just building your brand on your own to have this clarity so I can copy bits and pieces of it I'm gonna copy this like brand positioning statements in here and then I'm going to copy and paste about my archetypes and then the other piece that I want to copy and paste are my point of view statements so the computer keeps in mind my unique point of view and then let me just double check to make sure that I don't need anything else I also have a words section where I have a more abbreviated tone of voice that I'm going to paste in as well probably overkill but once you have it done, it's super easy to, to pop in here. And now let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. AI empowered entrepreneurs building bravery for the future. Unlock your hidden genius with AI as your ultimate sidekick. Let's enhance creativity, make smarter decisions, join forces with AI to create unstoppable synergies. The future's bright, embrace the power of AI, human AI collaboration. Okay, so this is fine. The language is actually decent. I don't love the format. I don't love that there's emojis every piece and it's not long enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up and we're going to edit our original instructions so that we can get something that's better. Make the caption between, let's say 1500 to 2000 characters long only use 
emojis sparingly. Clearly I could just go through and like delete those manually, but I'm curious, especially once we get a longer output, what it's gonna look like. Picture this, you're an ambitious entrepreneur striving to make your mark in a rapidly evolving world. Now imagine unlocking a powerful tool to help you skyrocket your success, tap into your full potential and transform your business. That's AI and it's here to augment your human genius, not replace it. AI doesn't mean surrendering control or losing your unique touch. It's all about enhancing creativity and making better decisions faster. By combining your intuition with AI-empowered insights, you'll create a perfect blend of human ingenuity and technological prowess. Let's dive deeper into how AI can empower you. Enhancing creativity can analyze data, recognize patterns, suggest innovative ideas. It's like having a brainstorming buddy that never tires. Improving decision-making. You can make data-driven decisions, uncover hidden opportunities, avoid pitfalls, no more sleepless nights worrying about what if. Your time is your most valuable asset. Are you ready to embrace AI as your ultimate business ally? Forge a symbiotic relationship and discover the limitless possibilities of an AI-empowered future. This is pretty dang good. And you can see how fast, given the right inputs, you can create this content. So it doesn't mean that I don't have to think. I'm still an active participant in this content creation process, but this tool makes everything faster. And it is right on par with human generated copy in a fraction of the time. If you're interested in learning more about how to do this yourself and how to create your own brand source book so that you have that powerful source material to feed into the AI, I would love to work with you in the upcoming VIP cohort experience that is opening up soon. If you're watching this video later and we've already closed, not to fear, we'll probably run a few more cohorts over the year. So just sign up for the wait list and you can get onto the notification list for the next time that we open this up. I would love to hear how you're using AI, your experiences generating content that is on brand, authentic, and in alignment with your brand strategy. What's working for you? Let's have a conversation and learn from each other in the comments below. Stay tuned for future videos on psychology, branding, and entrepreneurship with a little bit of AI sprinkled in here and there.